Hi, my name is Tim Sexton, also known as Tim Balls, and this is my SGDQ 2017 submission for Iron Throne Wizard Mode Speedrun on Game of Thrones Pro Pinball. For details on camera setup and presentation explanation, please check out my Hand of the King Speedrun submission. For this video, I'll be mostly focusing on game explanation and how this run will be presented. It should be noted that I am recording this run on a Game of Thrones premium pinball machine. This collector's model adds the upper play field, which obstructs a lot of the shots, and it adds some other little features that aren't important to the main speed run. During this run, I skip all the upper play field features, but it does slow down the run and make things more annoying. I will not need to explain what those features are on the machine we use at SGDQ. This is only what I had access to to record on for this submission deadline. The really nice thing about Game of Thrones, and the reason I picked this run, is because at the start of the game, after hitting the start button, but before launching the ball, you get this overview, which is very nicely color-coded, and it tells you a lot of important stuff about the game, such as what color and what shots correspond to which house. Each house must be lit by shooting that color-coded shot three times. It can then be battled by shooting up the center ramp. Up to two houses can be battled at a time. You get to light one house for free by choosing it on the plunge, and we choose the yellow Baratheon shot because that is the one that takes the most hits to qualify. We will go through each mode or house and which color is associated with it, and we will talk about how to light each of them and how many times you need to shoot every shot, which is three. We will also talk about the special rules for Targaryen. Targaryen is lit at the dragon shot, and it cannot be chosen right off the bat. Targaryen is three levels, two with mini bosses, which are dragons you have to battle, and then there's a final Drogon boss that you have to battle. Targaryen is by far the longest mode to complete, so it gets focused on at pretty much every stage of the game in this speed run. I won't waste any more of your time now explaining the beginning of the run because I'll be able to do it while this video plays, but there will be very clear things that Kevin or myself will go over and the player not playing will be doing heavy commentating in this game. So Baratheon, the yellow mode will be chosen to avoid hitting those drop targets more than necessary. And the first thing that will be done is trying to light a second house because you can only be lighting or battling a house at any given moment. You start out lighting houses. So here you can tell that you're lighting houses because all the shield targets are lit in different colors and the main shield in the bottom of the playfield only has one flashing mode. There will be drains, but since we're on 10 balls with extra balls turned on, they shouldn't be too big a setbacks time-wise. So there's a shot to the house Targaryen through the dragon shot, which is the blue shot. We'll talk about the color along with the name of the shot every time. Until we shoot the center ramp with the white choose your battle target flashing, we will not be battling any houses. We will only be lighting them so that we have the ability to battle them. This will be the least intuitive and most boring part of the whole run uh, because it takes this grinding work to qualify all these modes. Eventually, once several houses start getting lit, the run becomes much less confusing and much more entertaining to watch. So here's a ball lock, and it's important to remember that because three ball locks will start multi-ball, so it's important that I keep track of how many ball locks I have. So you see with that shot, and I'll use my hand to gesture this while I'm playing, the blue Targaryen shield is now lit in the middle, and the dragon shot has changed to a off-white neutral color. So we have another drain here, but it's still not a really big issue. Because we've made good progress lighting our Targaryen shot, which is the most difficult shot to shoot in the game. That ball didn't drain due to an exploit that's not worth talking about. My ball saver on my outlanes is now lit. Now the green one's lit, so now you can see the three shots are flashing. And I'm just going for more of the colored shields at this point to try to light as many modes as I possibly can. 
the reason I'm doing this is because if I get stuck in a situation where my mode's going or my multi-ball's going, I have to wait till those end to light any more modes. So we split up the run to be a little bit more well organized. But here I decide to take some modes together. And I can play up to two at the same time. So quickly scrolling through the menu there, I play Targaryen with Baratheon, but all choices of combinations of two modes are available to you. So now you can see the colors change dramatically, and this is something we'll stress a lot. Now instead of all those shields being lit in some color, some of them aren't lit, but the ones that are lit are either lit in the blue Targaryen color or the yellow Baratheon color. And hitting these shields turns the lights out, which means you're making more progress on that mode. And here, if I hit the dragon shot, which I missed, um, when, when I hit the right number of shots in the right amount of time, I'll be able to complete that mode. So my ball save gave me that ball back there. It didn't actually drain, and I've got time still to finish it, so I'm going to try to get control of the ball. And nailing that dragon shot, that ends... Targaryen, so you see the shield turned out, that's Targaryen level 1 complete, and now the yellow one turns solid in the middle of the playfield, the Baratheon turns solid, which means it's completed for the entirety of the game. By shooting that middle ramp, I secretly lit the red Lannister mode, and I started multi-ball at the same time, so now we have our good multi-ball management here, and we'll explain how you light all the multi-balls, but having a multi-ball going with two modes, and modes that are particularly tricky, is important because it lets you pick up progress a lot faster. This will be pretty tricky to explain, but when we get a moment when the lights are working and the lights will be a little less bright, that's a software setting we can change, you'll be able to see, okay, so there's red shots and blue shots, so those are the important ones. The green ones are the jackpots in the multi-ball that I'm not too concerned about. Those red posts, those little circles on, that are lit up, light the red shields, which are giving me progress in Lannister mode. This is an extra ball animation, which um, blinds me, and that effect will be toned down. You can tone down the brightness of the LEDs, but I didn't have the ability to do that here, and the operator did not want me to do that because he really likes the effect. But we will have full control of the games. I pinball done quick. And then we have multi-ball play here. So you see the red shield's now done, and the blue level 2 is also completed. So here I go in to choose my battle again, and I decide to play blue level 3 with green uh, Tyrell mode. So my blue shot, I shot my blue shot, I've got three green shots lit, and I just want to keep turning out the lights in a fast enough way. This is another multiball I've started here, this is wall multiball, and this is qualified slightly differently on the pro, pro and started in a different way, but it just gives me more opportunities, more balls to shoot the shots I need. And this is really strategic use of my multi-balls to have them all going when I pick Targaryen modes and to get to my Targaryen modes very quickly. So despite a pretty like boring beginning of the run, I think the run's really picked up now. We have a green shot there that I just took out. So Tyrell's about halfway done. They're both still flashing. I've got the yellow and red completely finished. Letting this ball bounce over. I shot the dragon there for a huge lighting effect. That's the Green shot is now complete, no, almost completed. I need two more green shots. I need a couple more blue shots that are lit. My multi-ball ends, but I don't care. My modes are still going, so the timers haven't run out. I'm going to take my final green shot there. So now green is solidly lit in the middle of the shield on the bottom of the play field with all those main lights that are keeping track of everything. And all the stuff that's happening on the display, I'm not really looking at. I don't really care about too much because really all the action is just what colors are flashing, what colors are lit and if I'm in a mode or if I'm lighting mode. So because I'm draining, I now have the ability to light modes again. And since right now I only have uh, Targaryen, the blue one lit, I decide to light the purple one, and I do by shooting that left loop there. So now purple and blue are lit together, and these are good ones to play together as well. I knew that ball was coming back because of, I memorized the grace period that you get those balls back. And I look that ball in and shoot up the center ramp. So this will be another opportunity to play two modes together. And I know after I beat four modes, blue and purple, if after I beat any one of these, once the other mode ends, I have to play Hand of the King wizard mode, and that's going to be a hard stop. So for now, I'm going to try to get as many progress, as much progress on the Drogon boss, the blue boss fight, which is the level three of this mode, to try to complete it. 
I also try to make sure I keep shooting purple shots because the timer is particularly quick on this one. But the particular rules within every mode are not important other than just, you know, turn off the lights fast. Another extra ball plays here. That display takes priority, unfortunately, over everything, but it doesn't slow the game progress down at all, which is nice. And there's a misread there. So I still have the purple and blue flashing. Every time you have to restart a ball, you have to go back into starting the mode. You have to shoot up the center ramp to choose your battle again. This time I know I'm just going to have three hits, and it's going to take me into the battle I want. One, two, three right there. And the, my progress is kept. So you see the two right shields are not lit at all. I just need the center, the dragon, and the left loop. The left orbit, left loop, same thing. I just hit it there, so now I just need a dragon shot, which I nail right there, the nice dragon shot, and a center shot like that. Now purple is done. Now at this point, I know that once the Targaryen timer ends, the blue timer ends, or I run out of time, I have to play Hand of the King multiball, or I drain. So I'm just going to use this time to get as much blue shots as I can. And this is not really a huge setback at all that I drain here, because immediately you can see the only possible thing I could do is play Hand of the King. And now we're at about nine minutes or something, and the Hand of the King submission I did in about two minutes and a, two and a half minutes. So this one's a totally different strategy to play this as late as possible in order to play Iron Throne as quick as possible. We left the easiest modes for after this. And this is a great point for reading donations. I mean, I could play out this multiball if anyone wanted to see it, but uh, it's not a fast. You know, multiball just lasts as long as you have more balls in play. So there's nothing fast about playing a multiball out. And... And just keep one ball trapped, wait until that yellow light in between the flippers, which indicates that your ball saver is on. Once that expires, you know that none of these balls that you drain will ever come back. So this one, I got to wait for it to bounce around. It took a wrong bounce. And now I'm back into lighting modes. Lighting my modes because all my shields are lit. And I need to light stark white on the right ramp, which I do there with a the shot. Um, you get this hurry up sometimes. You have to clear it out. Uh, five of those leads to a multi-ball, but we try to avoid that at all costs in this speed run. Um, sometimes it just happens if you make enough mistakes or make enough errant shots. Another drain. What are we on? Ball six or something? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. We've got plenty of balls left. Right orbit is Martell, the orange. Right ramp is Stark, the white. Those are the ones we need. So you can see House Martell says one more to light. So it, it gives you a little progress update on the display. Um, but I know in my head I need, you know, one more Stark, one more white, and one more orange. So the orange one just changed to the neutral color. And you can see it's flashing on the bottom, the very bottom one. The orange one is lit right by the flipper there. And I'm having trouble with my Stark ramp. Stark ramp's a lot easier to hit on the Pro, so... The angle's built a little bit differently because of that upper play field. There we are. All my modes are lit now. You can see the whole shield. I got four done. I've got three flashing. I got to shoot up the center to clear that hurry up the, with the annoying lighting effect. Once again, this lighting effect will not be as bright for the cameras. Uh, it'll be turned down as much as possible, as much as the game software allows. So now this is a combination we also saw in the Hand of the King run. Um, because there's an economy of shots here. You can take three center ramp shots, followed by uh, three orbit shots, and then followed by a ramp shot. And that's what I'll try to do here. If I can get control and I can make the shot, which I have, I'm having trouble with, but uh, it'll be, we'll be, ma we'll be making it easier. So I shoot the ramp twice. There we go. So I take a shot at the left orbit and I miss. And this is the first time I actually have a mode expire. So you can see the orange light went away and you're like, why did the orange light go away? Oh, now it's back. And it was because I ran out of time to shoot any orange shots. But hey, we've only got two left and we can only play two at a time. So we're, you know, in a perfectly fine situation here. We just play blue and orange. And here we are. It's the final stretch. Final two modes. Um, if I wanted to play quote-unquote safe, 
I only have one lock lit for multi-ball, but I'm actually trying to go fast, so I want to avoid lighting that lock at all. What I decided to do here, I went for the blue shot. There we go. Orange is completely done. We just have blue left. And now I'm trying to get to that flipper, shoot the right orbit. Oh, and that's a nice shot. <laughs> if I do say so myself, accidentally shoot the right orbit again when I didn't need it. And we've got one shot left. Just that dragon will finally kill Drogon. There we go. Nail Drogon. Iron Throne is lit. I have to shoot it up the middle, and I miss, of course. And we shoot it up the middle, and we call time. So because it's pinball, the game keeps going. You can never really end it. You can never get to a game over screen. But for all intents and purposes, this is basically the hardest objective you could possibly complete in this game. And uh, that was it right there. And we could do it consistently with 10 balls, safe out lanes, safe tilt bob, safe everything. And I hope that you guys enjoy this run. You can consider it for SGDQ and that we can pave the way for more pinball runs, safe pinball runs, and entertaining pinball runs in the future. Thank you.